intro or anything. Hi guys, oh, welcome gosh. back to another video. <laughs> oh my god. All right, bro. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I am Alexia Nicole and I'm Kiara. Kiara. I don't know if Kiara's actually ever really in real life been in a video, maybe a clip or two. Let's say hi to Kiki. Hey. My son has. Kai has. Kai has definitely yeah. been. Y'all have seen Kiara, but she's never actually interacted with the camera. I'm I just. I've been Got fat it. for like two years from having kids and stuff, so. I wouldn't say fat, just a little fluff. I was Chunk. A little round. Anyways, Rotund. it's been a minute since I've done like a, a light-hearted, fun video. So why not? Let's just do a best friend tag today, right? And I have no idea what this is, so it'll be interesting. Okay. When and how do we meet? We met 10th grade. 10th grade, Side Creek High School. English? English, Miss Best. Goni! Yes! Because I used to come in the class and be, mm -hmm. um, what is that Andre 3000 song? Caroline! <laughs> You're, You're the reason for the, the word. word. <laughs> yeah, because her name was Caroline. Uh, Caroline Basconi. And she would kick me out all the time. Yes. 10th yes. <laughs> grade English. That is how me and Kiki became friends. Do you want to tell them how we almost didn't become friends? Because you judged me? Rudeness. Well, <laughs> you know, just so I came to Side Creek. That was my first year there at 10th grade. I came from a different high school. So I was new first day and I saw Kiki at the corner of my eye, you know. <laughs> <laughs> She had a little hair all down her back, was light skinned and cute, had on like some a brown dicky dress. Dicky dress. <laughs> I had on a whole dicky dress. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, and like some little Cortez sneakers or something, and I just happened. Happened. Like crazy. You know, just the whole dark skin, light skin rivalry type thing. Petty. And we still together. Yeah. And then a week later, I got transferred to Miss Bascone's class in. Friendship been from it there. ever since, yeah. You know, so yeah. don't don't judge a book by its cover, y'all. We can rock. All right. Okay. What's my favorite color? <laughs> uh, I know yours. Purple. <laughs> <laughs> yours is black. My favorite color to wear is black. Yes. That's all I need to know. Yes, but my favorite favorite color is green. Is it? Mm -hmm. Always. Yeah, I remember in dorm room, my side of the room was like green. It was green. Yeah. yeah. My, and mine was black. Yeah. But uh, trick question for me, I don't have a favorite color. Oh, well, see? That's why I didn't know. It's a possibility. Yeah, I don't have a favorite color. Thanks. What's my favorite food? Mm. You know this. Crab legs. No. Favorite food? That's what we've been eating a lot lately. Okay. True. Favorite food. Come on. What a bad for I know. <laughs> favorite food? No. You don't have a favorite food? It's Mexican. Oh, well, favorite type of food, cuisine, yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh, oh I guess your question like favorite dish? Is that yeah, what that's that what is? I was thinking. Oh. But oh. yeah, if we were to have to pick a favorite cuisine, it would off top be Tex Mix. For sure. Yeah. Both of ours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Papacitos. Every day. With churros on top. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> Maybe a trust last day, depending on how you feel. Oh, let's mm. go later. We can. That can be dinner. <laughs> what part of your best friend's body is their favorite? I would say your boobs. That's funny because I was going to say your boobs, but I think that's my favorite part of your boobs. body. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. My favorite is my legs. Really? They are yeah. very long. Long and toned and mm. right. Just the right amount of Serena Williams cellulite sits there. They're like... Oh my God. Up. Side note, in high school, everybody used to call her that. Everybody and then when we got to Serena. college, everybody thought you were Fantasia. Yeah. Because of the hair. Because of the hair. Okay. Just because in of the hair. In high school, I had the braids. And, you know, Serena and Venus used to do the braids. So, literally, they were like, you look just like Serena. Which is all compliments all day because she is she bomb. my favorite person. With body, bomb with body, mm, and white man, yeah, kind of make you think about them. 
favorite yeah. part. Okay. <laughs> um, my favorite part about it actually is probably my hips, not my boobs, especially now after having kids, because yeah. they're like flat sandbags. No, they're not. That's a nice padded bra. You feel it. <laughs> you feel it. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Hips? I don't really have those. You're, t- you're tall Amazon, though. You don't need them. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm short and like expand mm. <laughs> <laughs> and <not> expand. <laughs> hippie though yeah you get that from your mama rightfully so jesus christ i'm glad that's it, that's it. oh i know this one what is your what is my dream job i know yours okay your dream well i lie i used to know yours mm, it might still be the same i mean i just i want to do a lot of things your dream job we're just going to go with the interior design thing to elevate that to another level. For sure. For sure. I, well, this is what you were like wholeheartedly going after at one point. You were like fashion guru. You yeah. wanted to take over the industry. Yeah. I don't know about that so much anymore. I know. So I was going to say like now you're like tapping into so many different things. I don't know. I mean, but I do definitely still love fashion, but I don't know. I got my degree in it, but I don't really know. If that's where you want to go. Which, uh, we ain't going there. But I, I will still, I'll still dabble in it a little bit in the future. Which is so funny because I feel like you have more of the look now than you did then. Yeah. yeah. Favorite inside joke. There's so many. You know, when I wrote that question, I was thinking of the top answer that we probably can't really say on this video. Oh my God, I want to know what it is now. <laughs> Think real hard. That's not good. Big. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah. That that came from a bad situation. That probably is the funniest thing. That's the funniest thing. one. Yeah. Okay, we can't give, really share that though. You can give a snippet. How you give a snippet of that? Um, we got into a disagreement with not someone. Us. Yeah, not us. Uh, two people we know got into a disagreement, and one person. Roommates. Really disrespected the other, mm-hmm. and I decided to jump in and be like, "Hold on, mm-hmm. you know, let's reevaluate the situation because you're no better than anyone." Mm-hmm. And I just gave her a few extra choice words on top of that <laughs> that now my friend remember me by. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Oh, I the probably the funniest or one of the funniest things that we were just talking about this the other day. When came a second with Taka? Yes. Yeah, I heard about that one too. <laughs> My husband actually slapped her with a soft a taco, taco, tomatoes, cheese <laughs> everywhere. It was the book. I don't know. The things you do in college. Why did he slap me with that taco? I don't know. What favorite memory do we share? Hmm. Favorite memory? I would say probably our most memorable memory is really us going to college and stuff together. Yeah. Like, we did that whole experience together. Yeah. So that's probably the most, like, memorable. Yeah. Like, literally from high school, college, I mean, and he, like, we haven't skipped a beat. Nope, not a beat. And it's crazy because, like... We hang, but we start party. Yeah. When can, that has to be... It's not maybe your favorite memory, but I love it. When he Her walked husband. up on me at the party? Oh, <laughs> He surprised her and came to college with us, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> My husband was a stalker. Let's point that out. I didn't even know he was coming to the school. He was supposed to be all the way to Oklahoma. Yeah, true. I was right. supposed to enjoy this four years, mm-hmm. being by myself as he enjoyed his college years. Yeah. And he came and stalked me. So yeah. for her, it was like, oh, love. And I was like, <laughs> Kevin called trapped. me like trapped. a few days before we was going off to school. And he was like, let's. I'm coming to Sam. Kira don't know. I need somewhere to stay, so I got to stay with y'all. Trapped. In Tra- our dorm room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Me and him in, in on a twin size bed. The sneaking, room was like this big. Yeah. Sneaking Legit. him in because it, although it was a, what do they call it? Co dorm? We were, we were in a co ed dorm room. Co ed, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the dorm room was still set up. It wasn't like we had our own separate rooms. We were in one room with our twin beds. I'll put a picture. Yeah. And yeah, Kevin stayed with us for what, like two weeks? Mm hmm. Has your best friend ever voted in a presidential elect- election? Yeah. I know you have. I know you have too. Nope. You didn't vote for Obama? You didn't! Nope. 
this brings back a flash of memory. So Obama was the first presidential election we could actually vote in. Correct. In 2008? Eight? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, well, it had to be eight. Yeah, college was 2006 to 10. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, because you didn't want to go home or some stuff, you had to work or some some craziness. True. So wait, you haven't voted since then ever? Nope. She want Trump in office now. <laughs> Don't be like her, y'all. Y'all don't believe the hype. Don't be institutionalized. <laughs> <laughs> don't. So, um, I've been chastised from other people from never voting before. Uh, I will say the first time I didn't vote for Obama, like you said, I had to work or whatever. Don't make that face at me. <laughs> the second time, it was like I'm not gonna vote for him because I would have voted for him because he's black. Mm-hmm. And then, ooh, what are you really bad at? Great at everything. <laughs> what am I? I mean, in the recent years, you haven't just like been horrible. Like, <laughs> Leveled up. Maybe driving back in the day. Yeah, I can see that. The little, little white car. What was her name? Oh, white Did girl. I just thought a white girl. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Yeah. That would have to be my answer. Final answer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are really bad at. Nothing. You have really ugly penmanship. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. And you drive fast. You drive fast with that stick shift. Yeah. Up them hills. Okay, I'll take that. Yeah. I'll take the penmanship part. I'm a good driver now. Ever since I started driving them school buses, I became a lot more cautious while driving. Oh yeah, you probably had no choice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Easy. What? You know this already. How many children do I have? And, that was a question? Yeah. Well, it's actually how many children did I want and oh. what would their names be? Ah. I think I just did the what would their names be. I guess that part's not really. I mean, well, when you have one more because we made a pregnancy pact. She's lying. Um, <laughs> um, I already know what you're going to name your daughter. It's going to be Aria because my daughter's name is Ari and they're going to be BFFs mm, forever. Um, so when Kier has her baby when I'm pregnant, whatever that may be. Unless she's paying for me to have a surrogate, this womb is closed. Um, you're gonna have, let's see. No. What are you talking about? You have one more pregnancy break. No. I'll rub your belly, but that's it. I text you, pregnancy pack. You said, okay. You were delusional, and I kept telling you that. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. So how many kids I want? Um, at one more time you wanted three. That is correct. Do you still want three? I do. Really? <laughs> Girl, you got a lot of work. I still want three. I'm going to be one of my old mamas. Ain't no wrong with that, though. No, look at Gabrielle Union, Portia. I didn't realize Portia was like 37, 38. I didn't either. I actually thought she was younger than I that. I did, too, until she said, you've been watching her show. Did you mm -hmm. see the Rolly? The Rolly? Yes, to the baby. Was, I actually thought that was kind of cute. I thought it was cute, too. Oh, okay. Kevin was like, that's ghetto. <laughs> well, she said it was ghetto. It is, it is ghetto, yeah, but, yeah. but I thought it was cute. It was cute. I thought it was cute. It was and I'm going to just be one of these old mamas. That's the new thing. I was ladies. just going to say that. Don't be pressed, ladies. Don't be pressed. Don't be pressed at all. Like, I feel like the thing, first of all, people are getting married later, which means they're having kids later. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing wrong with having your kids later. Mm -hmm. If you, you know, quote unquote, do it the the right way, the right biblical Christian, Absolutely. the godly way. Absolutely. Um, Practice. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. People are living longer. Psh, by the time yeah. these babies get out the house, you I'll be 40. I'm going to say, yeah. No, yeah. I ain't going to, no, 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 not 40. I said 35. I'm going to go do the little freeze. Yeah. No, I want to freeze or don't want to get a, just a sperm donor. You should freeze. Mm. So the options are there. So if a good guy comes, I mean, by forty though, is he really gonna want kids? That that's the question. You know, I might have to go down in age. You know, younger. I just can't. Anyways, you can train them. Ooh, I have a lot of work. It's a lot of work, but yeah, I mean, we'll see. Just gonna wait a minute. We're work. we're gonna act like you're not talking to no one right now. <laughs> they don't know that. Oops. <laughs> 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 I'm so weird. Ignore that. You're going to watch this video and be like, I don't exist. <laughs> Maybe yeah. not. Depends on the day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm all for you freezing your eggs just to put that out there. Now, if you do choose to go the other way, to be proactive in your own life. Get you a hey, sperm did you donor. see on The Bachelor, there's a guy on there and he's a sperm donor. He's been doing this since college. He has like, was it 12 kids or 21 kids out there? 
No. Look that. Sh- look it up. I knew you got. <laughs> really? Yes. I don't know how I would feel about that. Now it's different for a woman to go because she getting up there in age and she yeah. wants to you know carry on her legacy like you want to have a little girl whatever but for a dude to just be doing it like for the money's sake because that's all that's yeah, all he's yeah. getting out he's, of it yeah he's doing it for the money and it's pretty decent money yeah and he must look does he look really good he, yeah he's a, a nice looking man yeah, so he's sought after basically yeah God, mm. you can't do this but can you describe me in one word You pick your word first. I already got it. Better? Yeah. Are you good? <laughs> Describe me Come in on. what I feel like you encompass to me. That would be loyal. Damn, that's good. I know. Mm. Mm-hmm. I was actually thinking of you, your personality, your swag, like everything. I was going with spicy. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay, that's mm-hmm, a good one. Mm-hmm. Like, because like that's, that. you come with it, boo. Is that all the question? Mm-hmm. Yeah, was it? easy. Yeah, you didn't do a really good job of picking them. I should make harder. Yep. Oh, well. So we going to Papacitos or Ramada? I kind of just want some churros. Like Ambrosia? Ambrosia churros are good. And they're cheaper. Yeah. The whole restaurant's cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> and let's go. Anyways, y'all, I hope you enjoyed the video. Oh, shout out your YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. Follow me and my light skin hubby. Yeah. <laughs> Our YouTube channel is Kevin and Kiara. Yeah. Remember when we used to call each other by skin dark skin? Yeah. Kevin. Darkness. Darkness. Her and my husband used to have this love-hate relationship. And then here lately, since we've had kids, they are BFFs. Like, they they more friends than we are (laughs) someday. (laughs) Me and Kevin agree on more things. When I watch y'all videos, I always agree with Kevin. Are you serious? Every single topic. You are my friend. Yes. <laughs> you're losing your mind. <laughs> <laughs> Who are the last video? I was like, what, what topic? Speak? What were we talking about? I don't know. The but scenarios? I was like, Kier crazy. <laughs> Kevin said the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, y'all. Go watch the little light skin videos. And you get to see our little bad kids. They up in the mix. <laughs> yeah, husband and wife, for better or worse. You know, just trying to bridge the gap. And get people in relationships to have conversations that they don't want to have, you know? And that's really, that's really all we're trying to do. It's just to create that sense of atmosphere that nothing should be off the limit with your partner, basically. And that's just to have a better relationship. You got to keep it one way. Even if you're not Yeah, even if you're not married. Even if you're single. Great conversation starters. Yeah. I got to say crazy before I am. But I will say, any dude that can handle your crazy... Hello. Amazon. I'm <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Bye. Bye. Until next time, make sure you subscribe, like, and share.